What is up guys, PED's father here and let me welcome you to yet another video. In this video we are going to be talking about a compound that has been gaining popularity for quite some time now and it's also a new product on the product line so let me talk about injectable L-carnitine. In today's video we are going to be talking about what L-carnitine is, we are going to be talking about why injectable L-carnitine is superior to oral L-carnitine. We are going to talk about benefits of injectable L-carnitine, also how to use the injectable L-carnitine. And at the end, like always, I'm going to give you some of my final thoughts and who should consider taking injectable L-carnitine or who can benefit the most out of using injectable L-carnitine. So without further ado, let me start. So first of all, what is L-carnitine? L-carnitine is naturally occurring compound that plays a key role at the energy metabolism by transporting fatty acids into your cell's mitochondria. This is where fats are converted into usable energy, actually. Now, like I said, it's naturally occurring compound. Your body produces it on its own, but there are individuals that might benefit from increased levels of L-carnitine, especially when we are talking about energy, fat metabolism or <laughs> losing weight and endurance. Now, those were basics. I'm going to keep this video very short and informative, but let me talk about now why the oral route is not that great for you and actually might be a complete waste of money. So when it comes to why injectable L-carnitine is superior to oral one, well, those are the bullet points. Oral bioavailability is only 14 to 18% and the injectable bioavailability is 100%. Of course, one would say, well, what if I take more, like 4,000 milligrams of L-carnitine, 5,000, 6,000 orally? Wouldn't it make up for the difference? Yeah, well, to a certain extent, but first of all, uh, those L-carnitine pills are usually pretty hard on the GI tract. That's one thing. So if you take L-carnitine orally pre-workout, and trust me, I have personal experience with myself and my clients with this, most people feel those heavy, big pills of L-carnitine sitting in their stomach. Of course, you can, for example, crush it. That's a little bit better. Or you can take the powder form, which I would say is even better. But there is a caveat to all of that oral thing. And that is something called PMAO. When you take oral L-carnitine, your PMAO production increases. Well, what is TMAO? I'm not going to go deep into TMAO because this video would be like 40 minutes long and it should be like 10 minutes long, but TMAO, if it increases, your cardiovascular disease risk also increases hand in hand with the TMAO increase. At least that is what the literature shows nowadays. I mean, of course, there are studies that somewhat counteract that, but you know, I would like to be on the safe side and not take something that can increase my risk of cardiovascular disease, especially if you are a competitive bodybuilder that already has many factors in play that increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. So if we can eliminate one by taking injectable L-carnitine versus the oral one, well, sign me in. Okay, and why the injectable L-carnitine is so much more bioavailable? Well, well that's with every medication basically you are bypassing something when you do the injectable route in this case the digestive tract is the main culprit you are bypassing that with the injectable route and you are going straight into the bloodstream so yeah 100 percent bioavailability guys 100 percent okay so now when you understand why you should not bother with taking oral l-carnitine i'm gonna highlight some benefits that you might get from the L-carnitine, injectable L-carnitine in this case, get. Those benefits do not apply for the oral L-carnitine just because the bioavailability is so poor. You probably won't get enough of those to notice those benefits. Okay, so let me go one by one. 
enhanced fat metabolism. Like I said, injectable L-carnitine is great in supporting the body's ability to burn fat as primary energy source. And that is why it is highly, highly beneficial when you are in cutting phase contest prep or you're just trying to lose weight. L-carnitine really shines in the lipolytic effects. Another thing, higher energy levels and better endurance. That is something that is being reported time and time again by athletes. That is why not only bodybuilders take it, but also endurance athletes take injectable L-carnitine because it is not classified as performance enhancing drug, so <laughs> you can take it. And it really has properties like a performance enhancing drug. So yeah, for those that are drug tested, this compound is a godsend. And now let me get to the most interesting and most fascinating thing about injectable L-carnitine of them all. And that is the increased androgen receptor density. Yeah, you hear me right. Increased androgen receptor density, meaning L-carnitine might potentially increase the number of your androgen receptors. Well, look at it this way. If you have more androgen receptors, you are going to get more out of your endogenous, but also exogenous testosterone, dihydrotestosterone, and basically androgenic anabolic, anabolic androgenic compounds. If you have more androgen receptor capacity to play with. So this is, in my opinion, the most interesting fact out of them all. And again, like I said, if you try to take the least amount possible to make progress, so you do not screw up your health. This compound is a thing that is a no brainer for me because of the health benefits that L-carnitine has, because it is non-toxic. It doesn't have any negative implications and it actually can reduce the amount of androgens that you need to take. So, I mean, yeah, like I said, for me, it is a no brainer. And since I'm mentioning brain, there are some cognitive benefits as well. Those cognitive benefits are person to person dependent. Most people report increased energy levels, which is normal. And actually it makes sense since it impacts your energy production positively. And those energy levels, heightened energy levels might give you some more cognitive power as well. And like I said, guys, because I want to keep it short, I'm going to go right into how to use injectable L-carnitine, which is, in my opinion, just guessing, but I guess it's the, the, <laughs> it's the thing that interests you the most. So let me give you an example how one can utilize injectable L-carnitine. So most commonly it is taken in doses 500 to 1000 milligrams injected IM or intramuscularly somewhere around the workout. The most beneficial would be pre-workout or let's say even more beneficial if you want to focus on losing fat, you would wanna inject it pre-cardio on an empty stomach. So you are doing your fasted cardio session. So before the fasted cardio session, you do your injectable L-carnitine session. And that is going to yield the most benefits when it comes to losing fat, if that is your primary concern. If the androgen receptor density thing is your primary concern, I would actually prefer the pre-workout scenario, just because your body is most susceptible for androgen signaling throughout a hypertrophy focused workout. So yeah, it just makes the most sense. So like I said, again, 500 to 1000 milligrams per injection. And now since you know how to use injectable carnitine, you know why it is better than oral L-carnitine. Let me give you some final thoughts and who should consider taking injectable L-carnitine, which I, I already said, but you know, uh, I'm going to repeat myself. So in summary, like I said, injectable L-carnitine offers a great way to boost your fat metabolism, boost your energy and improve endurance, especially for those who want to optimize their performance or 
body composition, which I think if you watch this video, I think you kind of belong to this camp. So yeah, like I said, guys, injectable L-carnitine is the safer alternative when it comes to L-carnitine. L-carnitine in general is very safe. It's very beneficial. But like I said, the oral one has the TMAO concern. So I would go with the injectable one, which does not have that concern. So yeah, it is basically without any concerns whatsoever. And again, like I said, who should consider it? Well, guys, uh, if you can take less anabolic androgenic things and get the same results because you take L-carnitine and respond well to that benefit of increased androgen receptor density, that's a huge win. That's a huge bonus. And that is why I would suggest to every bodybuilder that is taking anabolic androgenic steroids to go and look into injectable L-carnitine because it might serve you very well. Okay, guys, that is it for this short informative video, or at least I hope it was informative for you. Again, guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. You can always direct message me. I'm available for consultations. So just text me if you have any individual specific questions and see you in the next video, guys. Be this father, sign out.